You stand! Hold her down! What's wrong with her? I always knew Fran didn't take well to being tied up. I just never knew how much. How about you? I like Fran's idea. Let's get out of here. No farther! Sky Pirates, the future of Dalmasca will not be stolen. <sighs> Why do this, Bosch? This struggle is futile. You must know where it leads. I do know. All too well. Engine power falling rapidly. It's negative. Impossible. Engine we cannot maintain the power. Report. What are they doing down what's there? What's happened? Disengage it at once. I want that We're another three guys. Let me out. Ah. Critical three hundred. Tasking failure. Ash, let's go. All I have done. I've ever thought of Dalmasca first. I know you do. I would ne'er gainsay your loyalty. Look on what my haste has wrought. Did I act too quick? Or was your return too late? I can serve her no more. You must take up my charge. Get a little dicey. The mist. It manifests now. Is that what you call this? What's that? I think it's the Dawn Shard. Then what are we waiting for? The dreadnought Leviathan is sunk. The Eighth Fleet of the Arcadian Imperial Army lost. As word of the events in the yacht sounded throughout the Empire, quit I, Bujerba, citing sudden malady. My true motive, to bring the various counter-imperial forces scattered throughout Ivalice together in unified resistance. By this time, Lady Ash had made her return to Rabanaster. She had not, however, made known her presence. Rather, she was content with keeping both her own whereabouts and those of the Don Shard concealed. Had she chosen then to go before her people, my error in announcing her suicide would be known, to the great detriment of my efforts to assemble a resistance. 
In such circumstance as the Lady Ash then found herself, even were she to proclaim Dalmasca restored, it would serve only to invite the Empire's wrath. Though Arcadia had lost her eighth fleet, she remained, as ever, a military power with which to be reckoned. The Rosarian Empire assembles a vast host under guise of martial exercises. It is our belief they wait for the proper pretext, the sooner to make their strike against Arcadia. The loss of Leviathan and her fleet at such a time comes as a most grievous blow. Were Rosaria to invade, the battle would be hard fought. Had Lord Vane not deployed the fleet so capriciously, we would not now find ourselves in such perilous circumstance. Lord Vane shall be made to answer for his actions. It is the will of the Senate. Excellency, though he be your son, justice must be served. A convenient thing, justice. And so I must now make a choice between my throne and my son. A most lamentable situation for us all. Oh? For Lord Vane, perhaps. Yet surely Lord Lhasa will make for a fine emperor. Lhasa so adores his brother, and he is yet young. But he will not remain young forever. Already he busies himself unraveling Lord Vane's tangled skein. Lord Larsa has found his role to play and pursues it with some enthusiasm. Ah yes, and who would set him at such tasks? What matter? Lord Vane himself once saw his elder brothers brought to like justice, did he not? At your Excellency's behest, as I recall. <laughs> you may put yourself at ease, Lord Gramis. So long as the Senate watches over her, Arcadia's well-being will ever be ensured. By your will, I shall bid Vain return to Arcades. So, it was the Dawn Shard that brought down the Imperial fleet. You know your stuff. Destructive power of such force. I've seen it once before. Lady Ash, you know of what I speak. Nabudis. The capital of Old Nebradia, Lord Rassler's fatherland. At the time of the invasion, a division of Imperials entered the city. 
There was a mighty explosion. Friend and foe died alike. Something was there. One of the Dynast King's relics. The Midlight Shard was in Nebradia. More Nethersite. Well, no wonder they invaded. That ridiculous war. The trap at the treaty signing. All this because Vane wanted power. He must not be allowed to claim the Nethersite. The Empire must never hold it. Oh, they already do. The Dusk Shard, most likely the Midlight Shard too. Besides, can't they manufact Nethersite now? Very well. Then the path set before us is clear. We'll use the Dawn Shard to fight them. Dalmasca does not forget kindness, nor ill deed done. With sword in hand she aids her allies, sword in hand she lays to rest her foes. This Nethersite I hold must be my sword. I will avenge those who have died, and the Empire will know remorse. You even know how to use it? I... <laughs> the Gareth may know. The Gareth people live by the old ways. Matricide lore is a part of their culture. They may hear it. The cry of the Nethersite's power. Whispers of the stone's menace. Dangerous though it be, what we need now is power. Should we declare Dalmasca free without the means to defend our claim, the Empire would crush us. You must take me to meet with the Gareth. They live beyond Osman Plain. Not exactly close. Compensation, is that what you want? Straight to the point, aren't we? I like that. Compensation? How about the ring? This? Isn't there something else? No one's forcing you. I'll give it back to you, as soon as I find something more valuable. What do you mean, something more valuable? Hard to say. I'll know when I find it. What is it you want, Vaughn? What are you looking for? Me? What am I looking for? I... I guess... Well, I... Uh, you know... The Gareth are said to dwell in Kirwan. So they do. We'll need to head south, past the Giza Plains. It is the rains now in Giza. The Waris will be swollen with the Deluge. Passage may be difficult. But those same waters may also lay open new routes to us. Regardless, we must go south, yes? First things first. You're eager to be on your way, I know. But we should see that we're prepared before setting out. I made my resolve two years ago. I swore to overcome any hardship I may face. Man cannot live by resolve alone, Princess.
This nethysite. You have used it. It was not I who used it. Indeed, I had hoped you could show me how. Thus I've come. Hmm. You do not know the workings of the stone. Then we are no different. What? In ages past, the gods made a gift of nethysite to my people. But the manner of its use eluded us. Displeased by our failure, the gods took back their stones. They chose instead to give them to a Yum king. Called the Dynast King, he used the Nethysite's power to bring peace to a troubled time. It is a curious thing. Though the blood of King Wraith will flow through your veins, you cannot wield Nethysite. I cannot wield it. So then, am I to understand you can't tell me how to use the stone? Though it shame me so to admit, here before me stands a descendant of the Dynast King himself, and I can accord her no help at all. Still, even if you knew how to use the Nethysite, you would find it of small avail. The mist collected in the stone over ages past is lost, and with it, the stone's power. It will be your posterity who will the stone in ages yet to come. <sighs> this stone is devoid of power, empty, yet full of thirst, a terrible longing to drink the world dry. The power of men and of magic of good and of evil. It is often those who desire Nethysite whom the Nethysite itself desires. <sighs> Larsa? To Baromi says. I say we ought leave tomorrow. I was going to wait for my escort to return, but meeting you here has presented a great opportunity. This terrible war can be stopped, but I will need your help to do so. A war? You know the Marquis Ondor leads a group of insurgents. Your pardon. He leads a large resistance force against the Empire. Lady Ash, neither of our countries can afford this now. The Rosarian Empire would stir. They would aid the resistance and use this aid as a pretext to declare war on Arcadia, and Arcadia would have no choice but to answer. Lady Ash, let us go to Bur Omasace. With the blessing of his grace, the Grand Kiltius Anastasis, you may rightly wear your crown and declare the restoration of the Kingdom of Damasca. As queen, you can call for peace between the Empire and Almaska and stop Marquis Ondor. Uh, for peace? How dare you say that? The Empire attacked us, stole all we hold dear, and you would have me save them from war? Damasca would be the battlefield. What if Nethysite were used on Rabinasta? You know my brother would do this. <sighs> Forgive me. I presumed over much. I could think of no other way to avoid bloodshed. If you cannot trust me, then please take me as your hostage. Rustler. You saw him, didn't you? Like at the king's tomb. So you did see him too. But why? It's strange. Before, I didn't even know what you looked like. And the prince? I barely knew there was a prince. Who knows? 
Maybe the person I saw was my brother. Bosch told me about him. He enlisted right at the end. But for what? He knew he couldn't win. To protect something. How can he protect anything when he's dead? Was it different from Prince Rassler? Did that make sense? Hating the Empire, getting revenge, it's all I ever thought about. But I never did anything about it. I mean, I realized there was nothing I could do. It made me feel hollow, alone. And then I'd miss my brother. I'd say stuff like, I'm gonna be a sky pirate or some other stupid thing. Just anything to keep my mind off it. I was just, I was running away. I needed to get away from his death. That's why I followed you. You know what? I'm through with it. I'm through running. I'm ready to find my purpose. To find some real answers. Some reasons. If I stick with you, I think I will. I wish I knew. I'll find them. I will accompany you to Mount Boromises. I had hoped you'd say yes. I am glad. My heart is not set. I still have questions. I hope to find answers along the way. I had other reason to invite you. There is someone I'd like you to meet waiting on Boromises. Who is that? An enemy. And an ally also. You will just have to wait and see for yourself. That Larsa likes his secrets. He does not mean ill by it. He's not bad. At least for an Imperial. Holy Mount Buromi Seis stands at the northern end of the Yagd Ramuda. Once we're in Yagd, we need not fear pursuit by their airships. Don't get your hopes up. You remember the Leviathan sailed straight over the Yacht Yensa, right up to Raithel's tomb. Skystone that works even in Yacht. You know, Nethersite's behind it. Little wonder they're so keen on the stuff. And what is it you're after, Balthier? You're a welcome hand and a great aid, but why? Worried I'm out to steal the Nethersite, eh? Can't say I'm unaccustomed to people doubting my intentions. Nothing could be further from my mind. Shall I swear by your sword or some such? Apologies. But I needed to know where you stand. Her Majesty depends on you, and you seem to have an interest in the stone. I'm only here to see how the story unfolds. Any self-respecting leading man will do the same. I guess this one was a success. Wow, I'm impressed, Bon. I got a good feeling. An alliance between away. Dalmasca and the Empire. Reason tells me tis the only course. We must avoid a wasting war with the Empire at all cost. Yet I fear I could not bear the shame, had I but the strength. A shame, perhaps, for me and for you. But for Dalmasca, it is hope. 
And you can just accept this, can you? After Vane's ruse, I had abandoned hope for honor. Yet, never did I forget my nightly vows. If I could protect but one person from war's horror, then I would bear any shame. I would bear it proudly. I could not defend my home. What is shame to me? My people hate the Empire. They will not accept this. There is hope. Right? Don't encourage Hope them. for a future where we can join bad, hands I as brothers. <laughs> Larson, please. This is serious. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. Don't be Larsa. Somebody's got to put him in his place.